Hey guys, and welcome to our tutorial video for a developer tool called TryAnJ. In this video, we will show you how to connect an Anjay Lightweight M2M client to the demo Lightweight M2M server based on our Coyote IoT device management platform. We're gonna use an STM development board running an embedded operating system called Zephyr. What you need to do first, if you haven't done it yet, is to download an Anjay Lightweight M2M client onto your PC. To do that, simply go to Anjay's GitHub website and click the download button. Now that you have downloaded Anjay, you can compile it by following the instructions from the readme file available on Anjay's GitHub website. Having done that, let's get access to the demo version of the Coyote IoT device management platform, which will serve as a lightweight M2M server. To do that, go to our website, avsystem.com, choose Anjay from the products menu, scroll down a bit and click the test now button. This will get you to a short form where you need to enter your corporate email address, check the terms of service and GDPR boxes and click the get free access button. Now go to your email and just click start now, which will get you directly to our demo Lightweight M2M server. Your next step is to add your device to the platform. Do remember your endpoint name and pre-shared key as these will be needed later in the device configuration. You can see that the current registration status is the registered. So our next step is to establish the communication between our device, Lightweight M2M client, and the platform, Lightweight M2M server. After opening the corresponding serial port and resetting the development board, flash the firmware by using a simple command. When the appropriate information is shown, press any key on your keyboard to enter the configuration menu. Now it's going to ask us to provide information about our Wi-Fi network as well as the endpoint name and pre-shared key from the previous step. After saving the configuration, the device will register to the Lightweight M2M server. So, there you go. We have successfully registered our client to the server and the device is ready to be managed. We can now open its view and read some sensor values. In this STM development board, there are quite a few sensors such as temperature, humidity, accelerometer, magnetometer, barometer or gyrometer, so let's have a look at some of them. By clicking the refresh button, we can quickly get a readout of the current temperature value. We can also do this for the rest of our sensors. It's also possible to set an observe on the resources, so let's set it on the sensor value resource of the distance object. Here you can see that the value is automatically refreshed over time. So, that's it. I hope this video will help you easily test your Android Lightweight M2M client implementation. Be sure to check our website where you can find information about the commercial version of Android Lightweight M2M SDK with lots of additional features, as well as the full version of Coyote IoT device management, which is not only a Lightweight M2M server, but also a fully fledged device management platform suitable for large-scale IoT deployments.